Welcome to a ViewSonic how-to. My name is Ray and today I'll be showing you how do you correctly install two monitors on one of our spring-loaded dual monitor arms. Uh, we do have dual monitor arms. Part of this piece is just to get the information out there because some people may not be aware that we actually build a couple really, really nice monitor arms. And these are very convenient for those desk setups uh, where you want to have full adjustability of dual monitors um, and you don't want to have to use the stand that's on the monitor. So uh, for today's purposes, we actually have two VX2718 monitor heads um, that will be in Installing. These did come with stands, but uh, we didn't install the stands. So in an ideal setup, you want to make sure that you're doing this as safely as possible for your monitors. You don't want to damage them in any way. Um, so we've kept them in the styrofoam packing from the box. Um, this is the safest way for these monitors, especially since they are curved monitors. Um, and we'll show you how easy it is to kind of get this all assembled. Um, now, some of the components in this monitor stand will already be pre-assembled. Um, I've disassembled all of this to give you the most comprehensive kind of going over of this stand and how it works. Um, chances are you won't need to do all of these steps, but um, this will make sure that you know how to do all of these steps. Um, so to get started here, it's actually pretty easy to get the monitor head connected to the stand. A lot of stands actually, you have to in, kind of assemble the whole monitor stand and then put the monitor head on it which means you have to balance it and it's really difficult it makes it easy to drop it or to do damage to the screen um, on ours these clip into place onto the finally uh, assembled stand so we'll show you that um, but it means that we can put our VESA mount right to the back of the monitor without having the monitor up in the air it can be down flat on the table like it is now um, so these monitor VESA mounts actually come with two sets of holes a closer set for 75 millimeter spacing and then a farther set for 100 millimeter spacing. And today on these uh, VX monitors, we're gonna be using the 75, the smaller of the two. So to do that, all you gotta do is you take your monitor head and you put the stand on there. And then we've included uh, four thumb screws per head uh, that you can finger tighten and they also have flat heads on them, but actually finger tight is okay for this application. Uh, it's not gonna fall off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these on very lightly finger tight first and then you can put a little bit more torque on them uh, once they're all seated. If you put, if you try to tighten them down too much without putting all four in place, you, you may find that uh, they don't line up or the last two don't line up correctly. Just gonna do that nice and gently. And they should go in very easily. These are threaded correctly. If you feel any resistance, could be cross threading. Don't push on it too hard. Um, just pull it out, try again. They should screw in very, very easily. Okay, so they're all in, so let's go ahead and tighten these a little bit. Again, thumb pressure is plenty. Okay, so you can see that. Our monitor head now has the stand attached. Um, the stand has a little bit of a curve to it. It should curve this direction. That's how you know it's uh, right side up. If it's upside down, um, you can actually spin the whole thing because it is on a ball, uh, and this is also adjustable. So there is an Allen wrench uh, that comes with the monitor mount. Um, so if you feel that this gimbal adjustment is a little bit too tight, um, you can loosen up this black piece here using that Allen key, and that'll give it a little bit more free range of motion to adjust the monitor. Specifically, you'd be adjusting it for tilt and for swivel. Okay, so we have that on there. We're gonna do the exact same with the other monitor. Okay, now we have the uh, monitor VESA mounts connected to both of our monitors here. Again, because they're down in the styrofoam, they're nice and safe, they're nice and protected. I didn't have to touch the panel anywhere on it just to get these attached. And that means that when it comes time to remove these, I can lift them from this point and they're nice and secure. So that ensures that you never really have to touch the monitor, which again, is the best way to keep it safe, keep it from damage. So the next thing that we want to do, and this is actually one of the parts that I fully disassembled, is we want to figure out how we want to put the upright on our desk. So um, this is the aluminum piece that the arms will be mounted to. Um, there's two ways that you can actually attach this to your desk. So uh, we include the pieces in order for it to just sit on the desk like this. Uh, this would be in a scenario where you've got a grommet on your desk, you've got a hole in your desk, um, you can actually just have it sit on top of that hole and then it will actually tighten from the bottom. These are the brackets that are going to be on by default, um, but you can remove them if you want to use the grommet mount. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to reinstall the piece that I removed. 
which is this large bracket here. And it's held on with four Allen uh, screws. And again, the Allen key does come with the mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this. Okay, I started all of these um, threading them with just my fingers. And then now that they're starting to give some resistance, I'll go in with the Allen key just to tighten them up. Okay, this is now nice and tight on here. The next piece that goes on here is a small sort of rubber, uh, it's actually foam piece that just helps to ensure that it doesn't slide around on the desk and it also doesn't damage the desk. So we do wanna install that. And this one is being reinstalled because it comes on by default, but I took it off to remove this bracket. So just gonna push that on. It's adhesive on the back side and it is just foam on the front side where it contacts the table. And next, if we're uh, going to assemble this clamp mechanism, we actually wanna take the bottom piece here, our U-shaped piece, and then there's a couple pieces that help uh, retain this to, to our clamp. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we can start threading this through, this adjustment screw, this large adjustment screw with the knob on the end. And on the end of that, it's actually hollow because it has uh, threading to allow it to be directly attached to this U-shaped piece. So I'm going to throw that on there. There is this piece right here, it's kind of hat shaped, goes underneath the U-shaped piece to hold it to the end of our adjustment spring. Let me turn this around here. And then there'll be a small threaded screw and washer that goes on top. And that ensures that everything stays nice and tight. And that is a Phillips head as well. By having it assembled in this manner, it ensures that the part that touches the desk is this U-shaped piece because that's what's going to apply pressure to the desk uh, to clamp the monitor arm in place, which is what we want. Next, we're gonna do is we're actually gonna connect it to the L-shaped piece that we already have on our monitor mount. Just line those up. You can do this easier if you do this on a flat surface. And then you're provided with four Phillips heads that go through both pieces and it will screw them together. All right, now that that is nice and tight, this is our fully assembled uh, clamp assembly. Um, this being the uh, top piece here is on top of the, the top of your desk uh, and this U-shaped piece underneath the desk, putting pressure to hold it in place. So now that we have that assembled, we can actually um, put that on the end of our table here and tighten it up. Just like that. Uh, now that we have both the VESA mounts connected to our monitor heads and we have our stand here clamped onto our table or desk, um, we can then start building sort of the upright of this. So one of the pieces that you receive here is this clamp. Uh, this clamp can be tightened with a little uh, thumb screw on the end and then once it is tight, then you push it closed and that'll provide a bunch of tension onto this round pole. Uh, the reason you want to do that is because that will bear the weight of our pieces, our aluminum pieces here that'll actually hold the arms. So you'll notice here that one of them is straight and the other one is curved upward. The reason why is because the one that is curved upward goes on the bottom uh, so that they are roughly at the same height. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the clamp on here. Also worth noting on the back of the clamp, there is a little uh, ring here. This is just to route cables through um, so that your cables are nicely hidden behind this monitor stand. Just want to loosen it and then you can choose the height here. So the height that you pick on this ring is how high these arms are going to sit above the base. So if we do it maybe uh, a little bit over a third the way up, that, that should be good. And then as we tighten this, you'll feel resistance in here, and that will tell you how tight you should set this thumb screw. I think that's nice and tight. That's not going to move, so that's good. So then we're going to put our upward curved piece here. This is mostly held in place by gravity. And if it's a little bit too tight, we have our Allen key here. That can adjust it down, and that 
will adjust the amount of tension that this arm has on the center thing. It also affects how easily it's gonna rotate in and out. So you can see there it's nice and loose. Do the same for this one. Again, a little bit tight. Same adjustment ring on there. Loosen that up. And again, they're nice and loose. Um, you want to tighten them up a reasonable amount because you don't want these to be able to move too easily. The point is, is that when this is fully assembled with pretty heavy monitors on it, you want to be able to adjust it, but you want it to resist that adjustment so that it's not constantly moving on its own. So these feel pretty good. And another one of the things that I'll point to, and I'll show them on here, but they're on here as well. Um, we have these clip mechanisms. This actually makes the assembly and disassembly of these stands really, really easy. So as you push a piece on here, it'll move this out of the way and then it'll clamp it so that it won't come back up. And then if you ever want to remove it, you push it over and then you can lift that piece and the clamp lets go. Um, the next piece here are these uprights. Um, these are the spring-loaded part of the DMA002 monitor stand. Um, these are particularly long because this is designed to hold up to 27-inch monitors um, as opposed to our smaller one that's only up to 24-inch. Uh, and there is a spring in here. So this spring is going to resist the movement of the head up and down, and it is adjustable. So there's a very long Allen key that comes with this stand. And if you turn it uh, clockwise, it's going to loosen it a little bit. Uh, if you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to tighten that spring. So you want to set that resistance based off of the weight of the monitor. And you just do that by feel. You'll feel whether or not you can move it up and down easily. It should feel a little bit of resistance, but uh, not so much resistance that you can't move it and not so little resistance that the monitor is just going to start slowly falling on its own. So the next thing we can do here is we can put these on. Uh, they're identical, so it doesn't matter the side. They click right on. Another thing too, um, like I said, there's a cable routing back on the back of this upright. Um, there's also cable routing on the back of these. So you route your cables here, and you shouldn't be able to see your cables anywhere when you're using the monitor stand. Okay. All right, and they both clicked into place there. And now you can see uh, these ones actually move very easily. Just like everything else, it is adjustable with the Allen key, so we will tighten that up just a little bit. I'm happy with that. And then the next thing, basically the last thing, you can just go ahead and clip your, monitor, your monitors onto the monitor arms. So we'll do it one at a time. We'll even keep them in their packaging here because it'll come with us, so there's no reason not to. Got one right here, and again, they will click down in place. And when I put on the second monitor head, I'm actually gonna do it backwards so that you can see it clip onto here. So just like this, it goes right on there. You line it up, it falls down, it'll clip into place. And then you probably wanna tighten this Allen just a little bit, because right now there's no resistance. It'll just spin freely. So you do wanna tighten it just a little bit so that it resists the rotation so it's not too easy to move, okay? So now we can kind of move these back here. They are adjustable, so if they're not level, you can level them out, move them out this way, and again, some fine adjustments. These are, the whole point of these is they're completely highly adjustable. So you may find that you like it in a certain position, you don't like it in another position, you can keep playing with it until you're happy. Let's go ahead and pull off our protective covers on these monitors, again, uh, at no point have we had to touch anywhere near the screen, and that's part of the point of this. Um, you want to make sure that you're not touching your screens. If you're holding onto them, uh, you could damage them. That's any screen is that case. From there, you can do some kind of fine adjustments, figure out where you want them, figure out if, if one is higher than the other or if they're not exactly uh, aligned. But you get the idea. After some fine adjustments and getting everything kind of situated here, you can see kind of a nice constant curve that we're able to get um, by using these nice monitor stands. Now, if you wanted to, you could lower them down quite a bit, um, both with the back of the monitor arms as well as here on the base. Um, these ones are set pretty high, um, but that's okay. That's just to kind of give you an idea of some of the flexibility and capabilities of this dual monitor stand. Um, so I hope you found this informative. Uh, please watch this space for more exciting how-to videos and other videos from Hughes Sonic.